Good morning and thanks for joining me in this morning's devotion. I'm Wendy and together with my husband Mick we oversee the Alpha Marriage Courses. Today's devotion is in keeping with the theme of relationships, something we work hard on in encouraging those around us, especially through the marriage course. I thought it would be a good it would be good to use a mnemonic to help us with this, to look at the word relationship. R relate, E empathy, L love. A accept, T trust, I interdependence, O open, N nurture, S support, H honest, I imaginative and P patience. Jesus showed us his need for close relationships and as we should model ourselves on Jesus' teaching, it goes without saying how important relationships are for us. Our Christian walk starts with a relationship with Jesus. We put our trust in him and accept his love for us through the sacrifice he made by dying for us. Without a relationship with Jesus, we can't fulfill God's plan for our lives. In the beginning, God created Adam and saw the need for him to have another to form relationships with. In Genesis 2.18, the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Supporting relationships is vital, whether in marriage, family or friendships. God identified it for Adam and identifies the need for support in us. A lasting relationship of any kind has a hallmark of love. This love should be unconditional, one that doesn't waver when the going gets tough. Proverbs 17:17, 17, 17, a friend loves at all times. To keep this love strong, we need to be open and honest. We may hurt, offend, upset each other, but being honest and seeking forgiveness will strengthen our relationships. Proverbs 17 9 Love prospers when a fault is forgiven but dwelling on it separates close friends. Being patient is key to keeping a relationship healthy. Ephesians 4 2 says be completely humble and gentle. Be patient bearing with one another in love. It's not always easy to be patient but for those who have had children Patience is needed when we are waiting for them to take the first work steps, say their first words, learning to ride a bike, or being able to read their first words. We are in a get it now world where buying things isn't restricted to shopping, shop opening times or contacting people isn't dependent on the postal service. Patience is a value we need to foster and work on to enable relationships to thrive. Empathy helps maintain order and cooperation. It is the mechanism that allows people to understand and relate to others. When Mick was taking his psychology degree, he had to do an empathy test and he got a minus 32. A normal score is a plus 30. I'm so thankful that I don't need to tr- uh, put my trust in that test because it can be empath- empath- empathetic. Ephesians 4.32, be kind and compassionate to one another. A relationship requires imagination. Imagination in creating surprises, learning to do things differently, to avoid the monotonous, keeping the spark alive. We need to be interdependent on each other, working to meet meet each other's needs. The words in the mnemonic are verbs, therefore it is something we need to do. A relationship is two-way and needs to be nurtured. Today, spend some time thinking how you could strengthen your relationships and grow them. Thanks for listening today and I hope that you've managed to pick some of the words out from the mnemonic uh, as we've gone through today's devotion. Have an amazing day and thank you for listening.